All right, I guess that's how Skynet started then. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Megan, the latest Blumhouse horror film directed by Gerard Johnson. This was a film that admittedly I went in with some skepticism. I thought that this film wasn't going to be that good. Just a feeling. One, because it came out in January, which is usually where films are buried. But also Blumhouse is like literally going to see a film with a revolver in your hand. You're going to play Russian roulette whether the film will be good or not, thankfully. It's not really that case. I actually did enjoy Megan for several reasons. The film follows this girl named Caddy after her parents are killed. She is given into the custody of her aunt, Gemma, who works for this toy company that makes these weird Furby things that you would talk to and interact with via iPad. There obviously are a little bit of commentations about just the reliance on technology that children have in this film. It's not heavy, but it's there. It's just like, you know. Now, while Gemma is very under-equipped in terms of how to deal with Caddy's grief, she is also caught up in her own project about making this artificial intelligence girl named Megan. Now, Megan isn't just a cybernetic doll. She's also a learning, breathing, and articulating computer. She will be able to not only interpret people's emotions, but also help them learn, teach them mistakes, and help them through life initially. Now, what the trailers showed, it kind of made it look like this was an updated version of Child's Play, which admittedly, it is in a way. I was never exactly a fan of the Child's Play movies. I just couldn't take the idea of a doll this tall chasing you. I just couldn't get around that idea. I know that there is a cult following with those movies. Maybe I'll get around to watching it. But I found that this one had a lot more of a weightedness to it because it's not a horror movie at heart. There is character development in this. Everyone does a pretty decent performance. Nothing's truly outstanding, but there is a lot of good talk about grief, about how children deal with grief, and that trying to hide it with means that take them away from that is not maybe the best of ideas that child children need to understand the ideas of grief loss and uncertainty in life having something being an assistance to them but is actually taking them away from that can actually prove detrimental to a child's upbringing and to their development that is a little bit of it but there's also this pretty creepy cool killer doll at the center of it all effects both with puppeteering, CG, and actual body movement of Megan are something that I was very, very impressed with. It's to the point where I actually want to see a behind the scenes feature about how they did it, especially with a Blumhouse budget. Usually Blumhouse are only between five to 10 million. I know that James Wan was attached to it. He did write the story. Even with him on it, usually Blumhouse don't go this high. So I'm kind of wondering if they broke the budget on it a little bit because either way, it's very, very impressively done. All those good positive things aside, the one thing that this movie didn't do that I kind of really thought it would is it was going to go out there. It was going to go full wackadoo. Especially after James Wan's most recent throw away with horror with Malignant, I really thought that Megan was going to go there. But it's actually a lot more subtle and a lot more subdued than I thought it would be. A lot more focus on Caddy. And Caddy's fantastic. She proved herself with Mike Flanagan's work in Haunting of Hill House, and she's still able to give those great, subtle, very reasonable and understandable frustrations a child would have going through the experience like hers. So when you see her get attached to Megan and start to become friends with her, and Megan not only starts to help her through life, but also starts to kind of do things that are out of her parameters. She's showing that she's learning. She's showing that she's starting to get much more out of herself than they originally intended. There's that tandem between what do you do with Caddy and how do you stop Megan. And not to say that there aren't bits that are either scary or funny. There's actually a few jokes in this film that just come out of complete nowhere and they're gut busters. Like, I don't know if they were intentional or not. Maybe one or two were. And the horror is actually pretty decent too. It's not over-reliant on kind of jump scare music. It actually does build tension quite well. It all is very subtle again. There's not a lot of absolute terrifying moments in this. Megan is a terrifying force when she gets into that er area. It doesn't go the full distance. It doesn't go the full way. I guess that's the best way I can describe it. It's a 
well put together film. There's just nothing outstanding about it. For a January release from Blumhouse, a horror January release, this is actually pretty well done. I'm quite impressed with it. So I'm going to give Megan a 4 out of 7. Yeah, who thought that a uh, killer doll movie was actually going to be a good thing? I, I don't know. Like I said, I still need to see Child's Play. I'll get around to it, but apparently one of the big comments that I got from my friends was this is the Child's Play remake that they wanted, not the one that actually happened. But anyways, guys, those are my thoughts about this movie. Tell me what you guys thought. Did you see this film? What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. Sorry again for the delay. I hope that uh, you guys have been well. For those of you who didn't read the community post I did, my windows had to be reset on New Year's Eve, so I lost all of my programs. I got most of them back, but I lost my editing software for YouTube reviews. So I finally have that back and reviews and whatnot will be coming out. So keep that on your radar. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Thank you again for everything you did for watching me last year. I hope you guys enjoy what I got for you this year. Until then, see you guys next time.